18. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. This is problem number 39 on the CBEST math practice test. I made this problem about seven or eight years ago. I made a video for it. And just recently, a teacher brought to my attention that there was an error in the video. So I wanted to redo it. Now, it's a cool place value problem. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to solve it in a totally different way than I did seven or eight years ago. And I think it's going to help. It says here for number 39 on the CBEST, which of the following numbers is between this number and this number? And then we have all these large numbers. Now, sometimes the way that I did it before, I, I looked at it and it was crazy, but it involved looking at 2,329,500 and comparing it to all these other numbers and the 2,598,100. What I think would be a lot easier is if we simplified it. No one wants to deal with these big numbers. So instead of dealing with 2,329,500, let's just deal with the middle number, 329. So let me do that again. Because it really doesn't matter. We're, we're going to find a number that's in between these two numbers that are given. And the beginning parts of them really don't matter. Because they all, if you'll notice here, they all share 2 million, right? So we really don't need that 2. And we're going to be looking at the difference between these two numbers. And, and we're going to be looking at, you know, um, we're going to be looking at, you know, just really that middle part. And, and so if we, we take these large numbers and we just look at the, uh, the middle section of each of the large numbers, we're going to be able to solve this. So let me see if I can get that. So this is, we're going to compare, three, uh, we're going to find a number that's between 329 and 598. Let me do each one of these separately so we can kind of visualize it and get it right. That there, move that over there, over there. And I'm hoping that this is by doing this, because it's not going to change the outcome, but maybe it's just going to help make it easier finding the number that's in between these two numbers a little easier. Let me make sure I, I have that here. So does everyone see what I've done? I've hopefully made this problem look and feel a lot easier by changing the two million five hundred ninety-eight thousand one hundred thousand to something that is a little bit more workable. And now, let me just get my pen ready. Now all we're doing is trying to find something that's in between this number and that number, okay? If we look at this, we have 329 and 598. The first answer, 249, is too small, right? So we cross that out, cross it out. Now we go to the next number, B, 303. Clearly that's less than the 329. So wouldn't it be in between those two? We cross that out too. How about 327? Well, it's not quite larger. It has to be larger than 329, right? We can cross that out. Now I get to the last two choices. <laughs> Now we've got to return these numbers back to their original values. Let me do that real quick. Because we had two potential answers. Now here's where I made my mistake. I, I accidentally said it was D and the answer is E. But uh, let's look at these now, D and E, and compare them. When we look at D, well, it's got 2 million, it's 329, and it's... Um, it's not quite, it has to be larger than this one here. So this one is 2,329,500. And this one just comes slightly shy of that. It's less than that, so it wouldn't be in between those numbers. It's 2,329,333. And we're looking for something that's it's between them. So it's got to be at least 2,329,501. So this one, because of this reason here, it's just too small, so we could cross it out. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna circle that piece there. Too small, it has to be greater than 500. Cross it out. We're now we're left with this one right here. If we look at answer E, which is the right answer, 
2,589,200 is in between this one and this one. All right, team, I hope I cleared that one up, and I hope, hopefully, that strategy that I just showed you might help in evaluating this. Team, this is Chris Haber from Go Academy. Uh, if you like the videos, let me know, okay? I always love teacher feedback, especially on these older problems that were done years ago. You know, it gives another way of approaching them and maybe trying them in a new way, maybe even a fun way. Team, everyone take care. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye, team. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. This spring, Go Academy is turning all the workshops into webinars. This is designed to help teachers continue studying and getting ready for their exams and stay at home at a safe distance. These classes are going to be covering the same material as a regular workshop. We're going to do them in seven hours and they're held on Saturdays and Sundays in the morning from 7 to 1030 on Saturday and Sunday. These classes are geared for teachers that are going to be studying April and taking their tests late April, May, and June. And we'll also be doing webinars throughout the summer. I encourage you to check out a webinar. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful.